Creating a micro black hole, it seems, will take more energy than any Earthbound collider yet conceived can pack. That is, unless there's more to our universe and to gravity than we've thought. The key lies in whether the world we know is part of a more complex cosmic reality, beyond the three spatial dimensions plus time that we experience in our daily lives. If so, we would be like insects living on the two-dimensional surface of a pond, completely unaware of the deep and complex reality below us. It may be possible that one of these extra dimensions could intersect our universe on an extremely tiny scale. According to some scientists, when particles collide at very high energies, the additional gravity needed to create a micro black hole could come from this extra dimension. They'll know a black hole is there when they see the shower of particles predicted by Hawking's theory. That shower will open a brief window into a deeper cosmic reality while shedding light on the ultimate future of our universe. Based on Hawking's theory, the last black holes will disappear when the cosmic clock strikes 10 to the 100th years from now. That's a number known as a Google. That's the end of our universe. And yet, it's still far short of forever. What will happen, say, in 10 to the Google, a Googleplex years? Well, if you wrote all those zeros out in tiny one-point font, it would stretch beyond the diameter of the observable universe. Will the great arrow of time ever come to rest? Or does that arrow fly a curved path, destined to cycle back again and again, as whole new universes come into being in a way similar to our own? The numbers that describe the time horizons of our universe are incomprehensible, yet they may well be relatively insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Earth and humanity are products of the great era of stars, and we have been witness to its great spectacles of gravity and energy. Yet it's fair to say that we occupy a truly tiny period within the vast cosmic sweep of deep time. And we can easily imagine there are others out there, somewhere, who also look out and attempt to comprehend the changes they see. They too may invent the idea of time and develop their own theories on where it's all leading. Will their discoveries, and ours, somehow survive as we all gradually go the way of the stars that made life possible?